Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All things Middle Earth here. And one of the most common questions I get asked on streams or videos or whatever it is, is what is the best thing to buy if you're spending in this game? And typically the answer is it's the season pass, get the season pass as a lot of value, which I do think is going to be accurate here. But I actually wanted to go through and add up what was in the season pass for season one, season two, and anything else beyond that, because at least here in Rebuilding Glory, they're claiming it's a 1,274% value. So again, you're paying 15 bucks for this. So if my calculator is working correctly, one eternity later. NetEase is roughly saying that this is a $200 value since this costs $15 again for USD and it's almost 1300 uh, percent value they're saying. So I'm gonna fact check it. I went through, I've got a season one, two and three account here. I've added up every single thing on this. We're going to quantify what we can, kind of at least let you guys know what else is available so you can make a decision and uh, we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get into it. Now, speaking of spending, while this is not really, this video is not an ad to spend, I'm trying to help inform players if they want to spend what the best values are and kind of fact checking netties. I will say if you are spending in the game, I have a top up link. It's in the description down below. That takes you to this website it is an affiliate link i do make money off of this i get a small percent kickback to me whenever people use the link so if you are spending in the game or decide to spend or whatever it is down the road if you use this link it does support the channel it's no extra cost to you there is actually a points like reward system in here which honestly is underwhelming but you do get a little bit extra if you're spending which can be nice but it doesn't cost anything extra it's actually cheaper in some parts of the world and Again, the kicker, the whole reason I'm promoting it is because it does support the channel, which would mean a lot. So if you are spending, consider using that. If not, no sweat. Let's go ahead and jump into the season pass talk. All right, so I think we'll start with a season one battle pass because that makes the most sense. But we do have the season three one pulled up here, which is a bold, almost 1300% claim, which just seems a bit much to me. So I don't know who's doing their numbers because there are only so many things we can actually quantify from this. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think the actual percent value is and if it's actually worth 15 bucks. Now, in my calculations, I'm really only going to add up what is available in the kind of advanced or premium section because everyone technically has access to all of this. So it doesn't make sense to me to add up and add the value of the free items and what you're getting. You want to know what the 15 bucks is getting you. So we're just going to be looking at the premium tier, see what you get there and see what kind of it's worth based on like the gems and madness we get from it. Now, I'll keep a running count on the screen so you guys can follow along. But if you scroll here and we look through all the gems that you get, which is probably the most easily quantifiable thing because you can purchase you know, gems just straight for, for cash. There are 4,300 gems available in this season pass. If we go to the Madden page here. The closest thing we can do for 4,300 is the $20 pack, which is 4,500. That does give us 200 extra. You could try and do the math and say, you know, you're doing other things, but really if you tried to make it up buying smaller packs, I think you'd end up spending the same or close to more. So this is at least the gem portion, the 4,300 gems is about a $20 value starting off. Now the next most easily quantifiable and kind of the last easily quantifiable thing is the uh, Mathems here. Now I keep saying like quantifiable, like we're putting a value on these things. At the end of the day, I hope it goes without saying this is a mobile game. Spend, you know, if that's your choice to spend, do that. This is all made up currency in a mobile Lord of the Rings game that we all play. So I think value here is in the eye of the person whatever the saying is so don't take what i'm saying too seriously because i feel like people could i could just see the comments now where it's like we're quantifying fake you know digital math i get it it's a mobile game so if it's if it's of no value to you it's of no value to you i'm just telling you what the value is based on the economy in this made up game so if you're in that economy and you're cool with it this makes sense if you're not a spender and you think this is all silly clearly it's going to hit different so just a little psa there on you know there's no value if you don't find value in it in the first place, but the value in this game's economy is what we're looking at. So anyway, with all that being said, looking at Mathems now for the premium section, there are 33 Mathem coins available if you go all the way to the pass here, which if you do the math on that, that is 13,200 gems. If you were to go buy 33 Mathem coins, you're gonna buy here in this exchange, which is 400 a piece, 400 to one, it comes out to 13,200 gems. So now if we go back to this page, uh, 11,500 is close. That's $50. And again, it's 13, uh, what did I say? 13.2. So we're going to need a, a $10 bundle here. That's going to be 13.7. I think that's the closest we can get there. So the 50 plus the 10 is $60 in value. So if you get all those Mathems unlocked, 
with all the gems, we have the $20 for the gems and now $60 for the Mathems. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky because nothing else is really easy to put a price on. So for example, in the premium tier, you do get one guaranteed gold item in all the battle passes, although it does vary based on season. So I'll tell you guys which one I think is best. But in season one, it is the Noldor Sword. Now, there's no way to really put a price on a gold item. If you are pulling Mathems in a regular normal Mathem chest, you are guaranteed a gold pull every 60 Mathems you open. So technically you could say that this is worth 60 Mathems, or if we do the math, 24,000 gems, because that's how much it would cost to do that, which is a whopping, I'm blocking it here, but that's exactly the cost for $100 uh, dollars worth of gems. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, I think that's how NetEase is kind of doing the math here, because it's kind of easy to tack on an extra $100 in value for them for the Noldor, Noldor Sword. Uh, you could also argue if the item is better, it's worth more because you're guaranteeing a specific one. Uh, you could also argue that depending on what the item is, since it's worse, uh, it's worth less than that. So this one, again, kind of up to the interpretation. I feel like the Noldor Sword is not a bad item. If you're using someone who wants command and focus and it's got unit defense, it's not a bad item at all. It's not the best item in the game, but it's it's definitely one that like you could count it as that like $100 in value or you could kind of just mark it as an add-on. So I think just for the sake of being like straight up and legit about it, I'm not going to include the weapons of any kind in the actual dollar value because there's no actual way to quantify it. You could open five Mathems and pull this item or something similar. You could also need to open 60 to get that. It's also worth noting if you open 60 Mathems, you're going to get other things. Like you're going to get respect items and you're going to get other pieces of gear with you know blue, purple, whatever it is. So it's very hard to quantify and just summarize and say that one gold item is worth hundred bucks, but technically if you wanted to guarantee you get one, you would spend hundred dollars. So just keep that in mind. Now, other things you get in this battle pass that are a little bit harder to quantify are you get these uh, Mathem Peddler special drinks. They are equivalent to tier two uh, respect items for these commanders, but they can only be used for these commanders, but you do get 20 of these. So you get up to technically 20 tier two respect items that can be used on one of these three, which if you start in season one, you will have one of these three commanders. You also get seven purple items or seven purple item equivalents. So I'm counting worn out items as well, but there's some worn out items. There's a, a fine smoking pipe, things like that. There's a worn out helmet here. You get seven purple uh, e equipment pieces. And honestly, that's it for the battle pass. It's actually a little bit easy if you at least simplify it because the only things we can really put a number on or are the gems and the mathems. The other things, like I said, are a little bit harder. So it's kind of up to you if you think those extra items are worth the money. That's why those bundles that come with gems and items, I just count the items as a bonus, but I'm really kind of trying to quantify is what I'm getting gem wise. So in this battle pass, in the premium version, you're going to get about $80 worth of gems and mathems with a bunch of extra goodies, including a guaranteed gold item, which is pretty good. So I would just mark this off as an $80 value with extras that could be worth more or less, depending on who you are. Now here in season one, they mark it as a 1,210% value which doesn't quite add up by my math. Obviously they are calculating the weapons and, and armor and things as worth something, which they are, but I think it's impossible to put an actual number. So I think it's a little bit misleading. By my calculations, if this is worth 80 guaranteed dollars with extras, this is actually a 533% value. Now again, 15 bucks to get you 80 worth of stuff if you're gonna spend any money at all. Yes, this is a better value than just going in here and buying gems. Obviously, there's a conversation to be bad about, had about double gems, but even double gems, that's just 200%. So still technically by here, if we're getting uh, 500%, that is a better deal. But 533 is really the value that we're clocking in the, the season pass at. Now, thankfully, it does not change that much into season two and beyond. So it's actually very easy to calculate these as well. It's going to be roughly the same. The big differences I do want to know is that there are different um, Equipment pieces available in season one, two, and then three beyond is the same. So in season one, like you saw, we get the Noldor sword. In season two here, we're going to get the cask of the submerged isle. And in season three, we're going to get the fine smoking pipe. Now, in my humble opinion, I think the fine smoking pipe is kind of far and away the best out of those three. So once you're out of season two, I think the value on the battle pass goes up because you're getting the guaranteed best focus based item for damage dealing commanders. And that's very, very good. So if you're trying to refine your fine smoking pipe on any of your damage commanders that do elemental damage, uh, it's a very good item. Now, the Noldor Sword can be used. And I definitely think it has, has its uses. I don't think it's quite as good as the fine smoking pipe. Just the fact that the fine smoking pipe is an accessory and accessories are harder to get, I think makes it more valuable. 
And then I think the Casca that's submerged style is actually the worst of the three. So I think technically, if you want to get really technical, I think the season two battle pass is actually the worst one based on the item you get. Now, obviously you need stuff to th strengthen your good stuff. So it's not bad to get things that um, you just know you can strengthen with. But if you're getting a guaranteed item, it's, it'd be kind of nice if it's a good one. So I think it's kind of weird that they don't pick better ones you could use because there definitely are better items that you could get. But that's kind of my thoughts on the rankings for the different uh, guaranteed items in these different battle passes. Now, like I said, the actual value of these is very similar. This one is ranked at uh, 1,274. I think it's the same as the season three one. So they're, they're putting it very close to 1,300 again. And if we go through the actual battle pass again, looking at the premium side that we can actually add up, uh, we're going to get 34 Mathems if we add all those up, which is going to be 1,300, or sorry, it's gonna be 13,600 which again, to do that much, it's going to be that exact same like $60 value. I think you get one more Mathem than you do in season one, which is not a huge deal. So 60 bucks with the Mathems. And then as far as gems go, you're getting 4,300 instead of 4,600. So you get one more Mathem, but you get 300 less gems. So it almost equals out perfectly. And again, 4,300 gems. Uh, we got that right here at the $20 value basically. So pretty much the exact same thing we're seeing this battle pass the premium part with the things that we can actually add up be worth about $80 now again like I said you could technically say that this is worth 100 bucks in my mind this one is not because it's not as good of a piece I think in season three beyond with a fine smoking pipe you could make the argument because it is a very good piece but in the first two seasons I do think it's worth a little bit less but same thing here uh, that $80 that we have that's actually guaranteed that we can actually add up is going to be about a 533% value, which again, is still a good value. Again, the best value in the game is usually double gems, which is 200%. So you are getting a better value with this, but I think it's a little bit misleading that we have a big, you know, plus almost 1300% value here because it's just not the case. And last but not least, like I said, this is that season three battle pass. And this is the same from basically the time you're in back end, any campaigns that you enroll to go into are gonna have this battle pass unless they change things. And so getting, again, the same exact value as we did in season two, so about that $80 value, but we do get a better guaranteed item. So anybody that you're running, if you're running Saruman, if you're running Sestaro, if you're running Skullhelm, whoever it is that deals focus damage, deals poison damage, uh, deals even fire damage, the, this is the best item in the game for those commanders doing that. So it is a better guaranteed piece. So while this is still technically at the same 533, I do think it's worth a little bit more with the guarantee, but... Again, that's just my opinion. I think it's best to just focus on the things we can actually guarantee, which is about the 80 bucks worth and then the rest is just kind of extra. I think that makes the most sense. So anywho, that will do it for our video talking about the battle pass. Is it actually worth it? I think it is. I think 533 is still a good deal for 15 bucks, but I do think it's misleading that they're valuing it at more than double what the actual value that we can add up. And now again, I think they would argue and say, well, we are adding up how much the respect items are worth and how much purple gear is worth. And yes, it is a little bit higher because of those things, but it, there's no guarantee for those. So it's hard to actually say it is for sure that much because technically you could open a few Mathems and pull a couple more gold items and say, oh, I just opened five Mathems and got two gold pulls. That's a $200 pull. It, it gets a little bit, you know, I don't know. It gets complicated. So I'm sticking with what we can actually see. So 533, let me know if you guys see the season pass. I think it's probably the one thing that's worth getting if you're playing, if you're not spending, obviously, probably not watching this video to the end. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Use the top up link, hit the like button, all that good stuff. And stay tuned in May. More new player guides coming, things to help new players have a better experience and understand the game better so they can, again, understand the game. I think you might have more fun. So I'm trying to help do that. So let me know down in the comments below if there are things you'd like to see in future videos. That'll do it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh -huh.